Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be covering exercise 23 and the first half of exercise 24, where we will learn the basics of modeling in 3D space using our different viewports and construction planes. Begin by opening up your chair.3dm file, which you should have downloaded at the beginning of this series, along with the level 1 training manual. If you have not yet downloaded the manual and would like to follow along, please follow the link to that video. After opening up your chair.3dm file, turn on the three layers labeled top, front, and right. For more information on the layers panel, please follow the link to that video. Now all exercise 23 wants from us is to recognize that when you draw in a certain viewport, your points will lie on the corresponding construction plane. So it would be very easy for us to duplicate this chair by simply tracing it, starting in the top viewport for the base of our chair. Then we will draw the side of our chair in the front viewport, and the top in the top viewport. Pretty self-explanatory. To illustrate how easy the viewports make modeling, just look at all the options I'm given when I'm trying to model in the perspective viewport. Even when I come to the right viewport, it is very hard for me to find the point I would like to select. Only when I come back into the front viewport will it be so easy for me to select the correct point. So just to reiterate, that is all exercise 23 is teaching us. When you draw in each viewport, your point will be created along the construction plane of that viewport. And this would probably be the best way to construct your chair. Personally, I would model this way 9 times out of 10. However, Rhino 3D likes to provide you with options just like every other 3D modeling software out there. And believe it or not, you will have the occasional scenario where drawing in this way will not suit your needs. That is when elevator mode will come into play, which we will learn in the first half of exercise 24. Elevator mode will give us some added control when drawing in 3D space by providing us with the option to select two points to define a single point. For example, for the second length of my chair seat, I will use the elevator mode. Turn on elevator mode by holding the control key and left clicking. I can select the point in the front viewport and my line will still not be defined until I make my second selection. As you can see, I can define this point in any of my viewports with my cursor. I can again control click for my elevator mode to draw my second chair leg after clicking the base to assure my line will be perfectly upright. I have the ability to use a second click to define the length of my leg. This particular model is probably a bad example of when you might use the elevator mode because of its simplicity, but it is the sample file that Rhino provides us with. Having said that, I am sure that there will be times in your work where you will find the elevator mode is necessary. I hope that you have found this tutorial to be helpful. The next tutorial in this series will be a continuation of Exercise 24 in its entirety. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe.